Welcome to the homework for Grade 2, Module 1. This is Lesson 5. Write your name first. Take care of that so you get credit for your work. And we're solving these. Uh, we're looking for ways to make 10. And we're working with bigger numbers now than we were in Lesson 4. So we're really looking for ways to finish the last 10 or get to the next 10. So we're really looking at the ones digits and trying to think of what do we need to make 10. Uh, and you'll see how this goes. I'll show you a couple of different ways to do it. Uh, here's the first one. They've got us started by making a number bond out of the 3 for a 1 and a 2. And they're looking for that 1 because we want to make 10 with the 9. Right? So we have 10 plus 2, which equals 12. So if we look at B and we use the same trick, we have a 9 for the 1's digit there. So we need one more to get this to 30, right? So we need 1 here and 4 there to make a number bond for the 5. So the 29 and the 1 makes 30. And then we have this 4, 34. Now, if you're drawing these, it's going to be a lot of work. So, for example, if we're looking at this one, the 49 plus 7, you've got to go, you've got to draw 1, 2, 3, 4 tens, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, because it's 9 ones and 4 tens, right? That's 49. Now for the 7, here's just a picture of how we're doing it, just so you can see it if you, if you want to look at it. If you don't need to watch this, then just keep using the uh, number bond strategy and skip ahead um, to the next problem. But here we need one more here, right? So we, need, we, have to, we have to add 7 more, right? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? So here, this makes another 10. Right? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens, that's 50, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 5, 56. So that's kind of a, that's an example of how we, what we're doing using pictures that you can count. I'm going to go back to using the number bond strategy. So here's 59. We need one more for, to get to 60 from 59. It's really easy to add to 10. 60 is a 10. It's really easy to add to 10s. So we want to get to a 10. And instead of adding 9 plus 6, let's just think that it's one more. And then 6, there's 5 left here. So now we have 60. All right, there's our 60. And now we're just adding 60 and 5. It's easier than adding 59 plus 6. 65. If we're looking at 18 plus 4, well, 18 is only, you only need 2 more to get to 20, right? So that's 2, and then 4 has 2 left, right? Because 2 twos makes 4. There's your 20. So it's 20 plus 2. 22. 48, see that 8? You only need 2 more to make 10 with 8. So we only need is 49.50, right? That's 2 more. So I'm going to get that 2 from the 6. Now think about it's easier to split up the 6. 2 and 4 makes 6. So there's your 50, and there's 4. 50 plus 4 equals 54. Now hopefully after you practice this a little bit, you'll be able to do this all in your head. And you won't have to write down these equations every single time. You don't have to write these equations down every single time, but you should be writing them down in the beginning, right now, how you're doing them. But this is really a mental math strategy. And we're writing it down because we're just learning it, and we have to show that we're doing it. 58 needs two more because you need 5960, right, to get to the next 10. So I need two more. And the number bond for 6, I need 2 and 4 to finish that number bond for the 6. Because these two have to add up to 6. Right? It's a number bond. They have to, they're, the, they're the parts of, for 6. So there's the 58, and that, that's our 60. And we still have the 4. 
60 plus 4 equals 64. And then we have the 78 plus 8. Now, there are other mental tricks for doing this, but really make this uses our, uh, if, if you're practicing making 10s, you're going to use it, that skill over and over and over again. It makes it so much easier when the numbers get bigger. So we need two more, right? Because we need 79, 80 to get up to the next 10. 80 is the next 10. So that's uh, 2 here. And then finish the number bond for the 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. Or you think we need 6 more. There's our 80. 78 and that 2. 80 plus the 6. 86. So now we're doing some more. Same thing. We have a we have sixty-seven plus five. So seven seven and three make ten, right? Because we want to get to the next ten, it's sixty-seven, it's sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy, that's three more, right? And five is three and two makes five. So there's our seventy plus the two. That is 72. And over here is B. So we're working with 7s and 6s in this one. So we've got 87. Again, we're looking for 3 more, right? And 6 is doubles, right? 3s make 6. So there's our 90, which is the next 10 up, plus that 3. Equals 93. So we're just practicing a mental trick of finishing, breaking up the smaller number, and then making a 10 so it's easy to add the rest, the leftovers to 10. This 59 right here only needs one more, one more to make it to 60. So 6 is 1 and 5. There's our 60. So we've got. 65, right? 60 plus 5. And then this last one here, 78. That's our 78. Let me erase that because that's just going to be confusing. 78. Now that 8 needs a 2 more, right? Because we need 79, 80. And 80 is the next 10. So we need two more to get to the next 10. So somehow from this 7, we need two. And then we just have to figure out what do we need to make the rest of 7. We need 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's five more. You know, if you're counting up still to break up these numbers, that's okay. Because you're, kind of, you're trying to do a lot in your head at once here with these. And if you, especially if you don't know your partners to 10 yet, and if you don't, you better be practicing them because you're going to need them. You've got to have them. Uh... That's okay. 80, right? There's a 78 and our two more. That's 80. And we're adding that 5. That's where that 5 comes from. 85, 85, 85. Which would you rather add? 80 plus 5 or 78 plus 7? That's just a, a mental trick to make the to get easier numbers to add. Alright, now the last one is a word problem. We're using RDW to solve this. I'll read the problem first. Right, it's read is the R, draw a picture, and then W will write a number sentence and write our answer. And it looks like we have a line down here to write our answer. So let's read it first. There were 28 students at recess. So we know how many students are at recess. A group of seven students came outside to join them. How many students are there now? So we started with 28. Um, seven more joined. And how many are there now? So we know the 28, we know the seven. We have to find out how, how much the two are together. So here's my picture in a draw tape diagram. There's the 28 we started with. And I'm just going to label these. These are the first students, the S. 
students that we started with it. It looks like it. Try and make it look more like an S. There, that's an S. And then we have seven more joiners, right? And so seven's a smaller number than 28, so I'm going to make it a smaller piece of tape. Just put a big seven there. And these are J, these are the joiners. And what we're trying to find out is now, how many are there? From here all the way to there, the 28 plus the seven more. I can see I'm adding 28 plus seven equals, now I gotta figure out 28 plus seven. And we can just use with the tricks we've been already been, been practicing on this page. Here's the 28, it needs 29, 30. 30 is the next 10, so we need two more. So from this seven, it's two, and then to finish this number bond, for the seven, if you gotta count it up, that's fine. It's three, four, five, six, seven. That took five more numbers. So these are gonna make our thirty, and then five more. Thirty-five. And now we have to write our answer. Our question is how many students are there now? There are 35 students. Now, 